tucked away, you're thinking. He looks as though he's going well just behind the leaders. Then party possessors. They turn in now. Then Mill Green, serious charges. Down towards the third last and winter fog as they jump this one. Remastered, just landed in front, but there's a host of potential challengers. Party business down the outside. I like the way you're thinking. These two now heading on, and it's party business that's going to jump the second last in front from a like the way you're thinking. Then Mill Green and Remastered. They're chased then by Sandaru, Beauport and Winter Fog. Party business, and I like the way you're thinking. They seem to have it between them as they approach the final flight. Party business on the outside of I like the way you're thinking. They landed absolutely as one. Mill Green back in third, Beauport in four. I like the way you're thinking on the far side. Party business on the near side. Party business is beginning to do best as they race up towards the line. Party business by a half length to I like the way you're thinking. And it's party business who does the business in the hands of Charlie Todd. Sanrique was hampered. Stage Dar has dropped right away. Three stripe life is being chased by Mai Tai in second. LA Bell a little flattening out back in third. Three stripe life from Mai Tai at the final flight. Three stripe life came up better. I makes a mistake in second. Then LA Bell and North Lodge and racing up towards the line. It's three stripe life and Davy Russell for Gordon Elliott. Five six lengths clear of Mai Tai. Three stripe life. Second to Sugar Hard at Chelsea. Them. This time he wins at Aintree. Three stripe life. Third time lucky on the inside. Harry Skelton momentarily lost his right eye. He's still trying to get it back. Amarillo Sky and Edward Stone now looming up on the outside as they turn for home. Gentleman to me, Amarillo Sky. Here's Edward Stone uh, laying down the challenge, getting much closer from third time lucky over three out. And it was Gentleman to me from Edward Stone now just shaken up. Third time lucky in touch despite that earlier blunder as they they range down towards the final open ditch. This is two out. Gentleman to me, not very clean over that. Very awkward. Edward Stone now being satellite by Tom Cannon trying to attack, but Gentleman to me finds a bit. It's Gentleman to me from Edward Stone. Third time lucky cannot go on now. Edward Stone's going to need to find more because Gentleman to me is not stopping as they run towards the final fence. Gentleman to me up and over. Three and a half, four lengths clear of Edward Stone and racing up towards the line. Is gentleman to me who's going to make just about all here in the hands of Mark Walsh in the Maghull Novices Chase. Two lengths away to the pushed along Time Hill. Thomas Darby is trying to come into it. Champ is off the bridle now. He's only got two behind. Juan Marj and Kashari, those two runners. So they head now towards the top of the home straight in the JRL group. Liverpool hurdle and it's Flooring Porter who leads by a length. Over the star cap, Saide Berlo in second. It's two and a half lengths away to Thomas Darby, then Time Hill. That was three from the finish. And it's still Flooring Porter. Saide Berlo now pushed up to try and get on turns. On the way down towards the penultimate flight of hurdles. It's Flooring Porter. Steadies nearly joined in the air there by Saide Berlo, who's now just about level with Flooring Porter. On this run down towards the final of the 13 flights of hurdles. They've kicked right away then from Thomas Darby and Time Hill. Here comes the final jump now, Saida Berle, Florian Porter, Saida Berle perhaps just in front, Florian Porter landed awkwardly, Saida Berle and Florian Porter to fight out the finish inside the final furlong, it's Saida Berle by a length, Florian Porter giving his all against the running rail, he's a bit tightened up for room there, Florian Porter, it's Saida Berle, he's out in front, he's going to be first past the post in the Liverpool hurdle, Saida Berle in third. Then Sam Brown and T. Clipper and Accelerator Express. Three from the finish, wishing and hoping. Almost joined now by Sham Blue. On the run down towards the penultimate fence, the final open ditch. And Sham Blue has now come through to lead. Sam Brown has moved up into second place. Now looks a live danger. Behind those is Killer Kane. Wishing and hoping is weakening now. Then T. Clipper and Accelerator Express on this run down towards the final fence. And it's Sam Brown who's charged into the lead has left Sham Blue standing in behind so racing down to the last Sam Brown surely he's only got to jump it to win Sam Brown steadies and he put in a mighty leap Sam Brown is clear by 10 lengths now to Sham Blue in second then Killer Kane and T Clipper but heading up towards the line it's going to be a clear-cut success for Sam Brown for Anthony Honeyball and home under Aidan Coleman with any second now just going on from Noble Yates in second Delta Work is back in third, then Longhouse Poets and Sam 
Santini and Fiddler on the roof. Clear from freewheeling Dylan. They're approaching the elbow. And it's Noble Yates who's through to the inside now to lead. From any second now, who's battling away all the way to the line. Noble Yates in front by length over any second now. It's Noble Yates under Sam Welly going. A fairy tale end to his career. Noble Yates has won the national and cruise control from Hulan Patorache who certainly made ground between horses now just before the turn in at which point Chianti Classico had a narrow advantage from leave of absence there towards the right hand side look away still with every chance in the yellow and red those black and red silks are Prairie Wharf and then the grey Hulan Patorache Rascal Boy is certainly much closer now in the red and pink spotting his big white face Hullenbach's trying to stay on blow your wad has come from a long way off the gallop as well well, they're racing down towards the final quarter mile inside that mark and it's look away he's now hit the front from leave of absence rascal boy up into third now Hullenbach is still running on they blow your wad Hullen Batorache is now beaten inside the final furlong it is look away and Jack Quinlan who lead by a couple of lengths Hullenbach is out after him then leave of absence and blow your wad and then rascal boy closing up towards the line now with look away out in front he remains unbeaten look away